the Colombian cook. And in my magical realism kitchen, we are gonna prepare white rice. And some people might think it is something very easy to make, but it is actually one of the things that gives people more trouble. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how to prepare white rice so you can always make it. every day basically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the rice with the chili and the, and all the aromatics in there. We're gonna add a teaspoon of salt per cup of rice. And now we are going to mix it up again. We're gonna just mix it up a little bit in the pan. That chili is gonna take it's gonna to toast itself a little bit and so is the rice. And we're gonna add some olive oil. About a teaspoon of olive oil is what we add for every one cup of rice. Now in a minute, this is going to smell like heaven. You don't have to add these aromatics and maybe your children won't like them. But if you have a special dinner and it's a Latin American dinner, it'll be nice for you to have a white rice that suddenly tastes different. Because we'll take out the cloves and the chili, so everybody will just see regular plain white rice. Once you have kind of sauteed the rice for about 15 to 20 seconds, then we're going to add double the amount of water, which is two cups. Now we're going to allow it to boil. This is the last time that we're going to put a spoon into it. Once it boils, and we are going to see in a minute that the rice is over very close to the surface of the water. We're going to cover it and leave it covered for 20 minutes in low. You see how the rice makes like ice. This is what we call ice. It starts floating up to the top. We're gonna cover it right then, turn it to low, and now we're gonna cook it for 20 minutes, then uncover and your rice will be ready. You don't have to open it or put a spoon in there or anything. So done. now we have our white rice ready, and basically all we have to do is fluff it up. It is perfect, all separate, delicious, and with the aroma of the cloves, and of the hot pepper which we have to take out remember we need to get rid of these cloves because they are very hard and we don't want to bite into them 